friends welcome to global online today we are discussing nta ugc net 2023 paper 1 and we discuss here people development and environment an important topic in ugc net and the convention and protocols that related to environment we will discuss in this class with mcqs and let's start with the first question and which are the following protocols associated with the issue of control and phasing out of ODS that is ozone depleting substance. So here there are options Brittonwood, Montreal, Kyoto and Nagoya and the one that is related to the ODS that is Montreal protocol. So the Montreal protocol is related with the issue of control and phasing out of the use of ozone depleting substances. It is on 1987 the United Nations will sign the Montreal Protocol. Accordingly, it's, it's a global agreement to protect the stratospheric zone. It is a, a ozone is a, a, a thing in the stratosphere. So, therefore, facing out the production and consumption of ozone depleting substances, Montreal Protocol take charge. Okay. And the next one related to the community that protect black bug. So in India, there is a community for protecting black bug. And black bug is an endemic species and the scientific name is Andalupi cervicapra. So this is an endemic species here mean is endangered from our atmosphere because of the inhabited losing. So there is a community that named Bishnoi. So, the Bishnoi community is the one that protect the black bug. So, the black bug is the one show, uh, this native in India and Nepal and it inhabits in grassy plants, plains and lightly it can be seen in forest area with perennial water source. So, this, uh, this black bug mostly seen in India and Nepal and the Bishnoi community from the Rajasthan. So here the Bishnoi community from Rajasthan will protect the black bug and it's an endemic species here. So uh, this will uh, really motivate the other communities also. Clear. And the next one, before we move into next question, please look at what Global Online offering for you. In this, uh, we provide UGC Net 2023 paper to preparation. Global Online offering you notes and most expected MCQs both will help your preparation well and also you can use this in other interviews and exams. So this is a great opportunity and you can get notes and MCQs for the subject seen in the screen and get by contacting with the given WhatsApp number. So you can get this for 1280 and this notes and MCQs really boost up your preparation and also, you can get other uh, paper 1 and paper 2 complete courses and you can download our app in the description. Okay. And next question related to the Kyoto Protocol. Here the Kyoto Protocol change conference took place in which year? And that's on 1997 December. The Kyoto Protocol is a operationist movement by UNFCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So here to limit and reduce the greenhouse gases to minimize the GHG, the Kyoto Protocol Change Conference took place. Clear. So the next question related to Kyoto Protocol that is carbon credit. That's also related with Kyoto Protocol. What is a carbon credit here means? So, the carbon credit is the one that related to Kyoto Protocol. So, that's related with the uh, GHG or the greenhouse gases. Is a credit for greenhouse gases emission reduced or removed from the atmosphere by an emission reduction project. Clear. So, the government, industry and also the private individuals to compensate for the emission they generate. Here the carbon credit will help to reduce the emission of GHG. 
Okay, so here the Kyoto, that's the first one. And it's related with the carbon credit. That is C, C. QCC. Clear. And the next one related with the convention, the adopted for the protection of ozone layer. We see the Montreal Protocol is the one that related with the ODS, that's ozone depleting substances or the stratospheric protection. And which is the convention that related with the ozone protection, that is the Vienna Convention. So for ozone protection, the protocol is Montreal and the convention is Vienna. And the Vienna and Mo Montreal Protocol have been quite successful. That's on 2009. So here the addressing the global problem of stratospheric ozone layer depletion. Both the convention, both Vienna Convention and Montreal Protocol is successful. That's on 2009. Clear? And the Vienna Convention, that's on 1985. Clear students. And the next question relates to the conservation of migratory species of wild animals. Which convention related to the conservation of migratory species? Here the migratory me means the species that will in dynamic in nature, they, can, they don't uh, res uh, resist in a particular inhabit or in a particular place. So for this uh, migratory species, the conservation will need, must. So here the convention related to this is bone convention. Clear, bond convention. That's for the conservation or the, for the terrestrial, marine and avian, avian migratory species throughout their range. So, that's the convention. And the next, the decision making body of UNFCC. So, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, that the decision making body. Which is the decision making body? We know the COP, that's Conference of Parties, is the one that's for the decision making body of United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And that's uh, not uh, signed by. This uh, particular the COP is not signed by United States of America. That's not ratified this convention. Clear students. So the convention or the COP the first meeting in 1995, that's in Germany. Okay, so it's uh, established in 1994, and but the first meeting in 1995, March. And the decision-making body is COP, Conference of Parties. And the next one regarding to the Paris Climate Agreement. And here the Paris Climate Agreement is the related to the clim climate change and is to keep the global temperature rise this century that's well below. So uh, for a particular degree of Celsius, the Paris Climate Agreement will make a change or will make a limit. And which is that limit? That is 2 degree Celsius. So here the aim is to strengthen the global response to the threat of climate change and for a country or for this century will below 2 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial level and to also the pursue the efforts to limit the temperature increase even further that uh, that is high to 1.5 degrees Celsius. So that not for the 2 degrees Celsius whenever that's on 1.5 degrees Celsius that's also a problem. But for no, uh, that's not increased above 2 degrees Celsius. Clear. And the next one, Kingali Amendment of 2016. In relation to Montreal Protocol that aims to, at facing out or to face out means to remove out of which of the following compounds or which of the following dangerous substances. So and that is the hydrofluorocarbons. Here the Kingali Agreement or the Kingali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol that's an international agreement to gradually reduce the 
consumption and also the production of hydrofluorocarbons and it's a legally binding agreement signed to create rights and obligation regarding to this use of hydrofluorocarbons and it is signed in 2016 and it came into effect in 2019 clear and the next one related to the intergovernmental panel on climate change there is a intergovernmental panel established on 1998 and which of the following organization will support to make this intergovernmental panel and it is the body of the un and its job is to advance scientific knowledge about climate change and the uh, other than the intergovernmental panel is to protect the environment but the intergovernmental pa pa panel on climate change is to make scientific knowledge about climate change that caused due to the human activities so we uh, not only we need the protection from pro human interference but also we need a advanced scientific knowledge for this we for, uh, formed a intergovernmental panel that's on 1998 and for this there are one and two that is the united nation environment program unep and the world meteorological organization wmo these are the two organization related with the formation of intergovernmental panel clear and this is all the headquarters is on Switzerland and the which of the following greenpeace is fighting against or uh, in which of the following there are the thing the greenpeace fighting against that's commercial fishing farming rattling whaling so here the greenpeace is a organization that related to the that related to the environment and the commercial whaling is the one that's related to the uh, fighting or uh, fighting by greenpeace clear students so here the greenpeace is one of the uh, governmental institution and also that related to the uh, independent non profit global campaigning organization uses non violent creative confrontation and that's an uh, out of that the ability to of earth to nurture life in all its diversity is the goal of the greenpeace so all with all this diversity the ability of the earth to make the uh, nurture the life is one uh, is the important goal of greenpeace clear and the commercial whaling is the one to uh, that that is to fight against the commercial whaling means the practice of a uh, industry to hunting and killing of whales for their meat uh, oil meat etc so this is the one the greenpeace is fighting against clear and the next one when did the greenpeace founded the year in which the greenpeace founded that sort 1971 in 1971 the greenpeace is founded was founded okay and the wwf world wide fund that's for nature protection is a swiss based international non government organization so it's located in switzerland and that's on 1961 that's on 1961 so the year the WWF on 1961 and the Greenpeace on 1971. And here the WWF is fo uh, formed due uh, due to the reduction of human impact in environment. In most of the protocol is related with uh, the reduction of human interference on environment. But in some cases, the Montreal and the Kyoto like. that that protocol is related to the environment or the climate but here the wwf related to all the wild wilderness 
therefore animals and also all other species in the environment the reduction of human impact on their inhibit and also the environment clear students and the next one the full form of cyven that c y w e n what is this full for uh, full form and that is club of youth working for environment clear so the, here the most of uh, most of women are participating in the c y w e n and also it can be uh, termed as club of youth women a uh, young woman working for environment clear students so this is the correct full form but in some cases there are uh, most of women will participate in the uh, most of the women participating in this uh, campaign so that's sometimes uh, uh, thing for women campaigning but that's uh, in uh, really that is a club of youth working for environment and the next question that's for you the ngo that ha has the mission as conserve the lands and waters on which all life depends so which is the ngo that is the government organization non profitable government organization for uh, that's the mission uh, sorry the mission is to conserve the lands and waters on which all life depends well uh, so which of the following is the correct uh, correct option regarding to this ngo sorry regarding to this mission greenpeace or uh, world wildlife fund the nature conservancy and none of this so give uh, this question is for you and give the answer in the comment box clear and this is the homework question the Uh, not the prime health risk that associated with the greater uv radiation through the atmosphere due to depletion of stratospheric zone so here the stratospheric zone depletion means ozone depletion and the correct answer is increased liver cancer that's not a prime health risk due to the greater uv radiation ultraviolet radiation clear and that's for the day we will end this session with this question any queries regarding to this please ask in the comment box and we will meet in the next video with another beautiful topic until then thank you have a nice day